All right, so this question reads, John receives one grade for each of the following six courses, economics, geology, history, Italian, physics, and Russian. From highest to lowest, the possible grades are A, B, C, D, and E. E is the only failing grade. Two letter grades are consecutive if and only if they are adjacent in the alphabet. All right, so we've got a lot of information here. We have our first set of variables, which are John's classes. So we've got economics, geology, history, Italian, physics, and Russian. And we have five possible grades. We have A, B, C, D, and D. Now remember, so far we haven't been told that John has to receive one of every grade. So these are just the possible grades he can receive. All right, so let's go into our rules. Rule number one. John's grades in geology and physics are consecutive. So remember from the prompt, it says two letter grades are consecutive if and only if they are adjacent in the alphabet. So they have to be next to each other. John's grades in geology and physics are consecutive. Okay, so rule number one. We've got geology and physics. Now instead of putting a box around them, because we don't know if geology is going to come before physics or physics is going to become, come before geology, as in if geology is a better grade than physics or physics is a better grade than geology, we can kind of put a little handlebar here with arrows showing that one is going to be flipped or one could be flipped but they're next to each other. All right. So now let's go to rule number two. His grades in Italian and Russian are consecutive. So same idea. We have two, Italian and Russian. Okay, now rule number three. He receives a higher grade in economics than in history. So here we have our nice little classic sequencing rule. He receives a higher grade in economics than in history. All right, now rule number four. He receives a higher grade in geology than in physics. Okay, so we see he receives a higher grade in geology than in physics. And if you note, number one, geology and physics are next to each other which means that we can deduce from one and four that geology is going to have a better grade and they're gonna be right next to each other. So now we can box them. And you have to see the difference between boxing geology and physics and not boxing Italian and Russian because we don't know if Italian is a better grade than Russian or Russian is a better grade than Italian. All we know is that there are different grades um, because they're consecutive and they're going to be next to each other in the grade. So it's either going to be an A or a B, a B or a C, a C or a D or a D and an E. Okay, so now let's make some deductions. We know from rule four that physics can't get an A because then what would John get in geology, right? Because geology is going to be a better grade than physics. And then Likewise, geology, John can't fail because he gets a better grade in geology than physics and they're next to each other. All right, so likewise with rule number three, John cannot get an A in history because economics is a better grade than history. And John cannot fail economics because he gets a better grade in economics than he does in history. Now we don't know where I and R are, Italian and Russian, so we can't make any deductions that way. We just know that Italian and Russian are different grades and they're going to be consecutive grades. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit the questions.